Welcome back in. The quest for the cup continues after Legion FC's historic win over Charlotte FC in the round of 16. Birmingham's pro soccer team finds themselves in elite company. Head coach Tommy Stone in the house this morning. We are so excited to have you here. He's also my birthday buddy. I always, always <laughs> yes. have to introduce us that. We're little April babies. But um, <laughs> this is all about the Open Cup. We're moving on. Eight teams left. Legion's one of two USL teams left in this. What does that mean to you as a coach to make it to this stage? Well, it's, it's such an underdog card, you know, and uh, I've, I've had success in this tur tournament in MLS days. Um, so to be here with uh, Birmingham and, and still raising our profile as a team and, and how the, the crowd supported us against Charlotte, it, it's just been a dream. And um, like I said, it, it's the first time I'm the underdog, so I think it has even special meaning little Cinderella story. Yes. Now you're a man of many talents, a lot of fun facts, but a fun fact is you've been a part of the U.S. Open Cup as a champion five times, three times as a player, twice as a coach. Let's go back to when you won it as a player. That was still on an MLS team, but take us through the type of pride it feels to make it through this countrywide tournament. Yeah, it's such a difficult tournament because they, they pack it into a, a season. Mm -hmm. So you, while you're playing league games, you're having to manage that um, during the week to play these tournament games and the last game I ever played um, I got to raise the Open Cup trophy which in Chicago which is quite special so uh, the tournament has a lot of meaning for me and, and um, like I said it's the first time we're coming in as a League Two team so um, we have a lot to prove. We're looking at some of the shots from the game against Charlotte. Prosper Kasim was the one that got it in the back of the net to win one nothing. He's been around since this club was founded in 2019. That is just kind of a storybook in itself. Yeah, and Prosper and I have a long history. Uh, I found him in Ghana many, many moons ago, and, and he seems to step up for the big occasions, and, and, and really what a great strike it was. Now we have... Enter Miami, CF, David Beckham's team. I feel like they should be called, you know, the fighting David Beckham's. When you're preparing for yet another MLS team and one of this, you know, stature, they're struggling in their normal regular season schedule. But what are they going to bring when they come here to Protective Stadium? Well, they're going to come with a lot of attitude. You know, they're having a difficult time in league play right now. So they're really focused on this tournament as we are. Um, but you're playing, you know, the likes of Joseph Martinez, who used to be a star with Atlanta. Um, you know, on any given day, those guys can really hurt you. So we're going to have to make sure we're really buttoned up on our game plan. All right, so they come to town June 7th. The match starts at 7 p.m. I know tickets are like $11. That includes tax. So they packed the house last Wednesday. Any message to the fans for them to come back into Protective Stadium next Wednesday? Um, just the, the, the fans were electric and the whole atmosphere. It was something that, I mean, our guys were motivated and, and, and that really helped. So come on out, come and grow and let's keep this run going. Has David Beckham asked you, you know, any suggestions about where to eat in Birmingham? <laughs> I hope he comes. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.